So let's uh, calculate cost and price of GC and EX uh, using absorption costing, a traditional method. So we will have to prepare a cost card for these two products. A typical cost card uh, shows uh, cost per one unit and it starts with some direct costs like direct materials, labor and expenses. Total of these uh, is called prime costs. Then, uh, if you add variable production overheads and fixed production overheads, uh, uh, we come up to total production costs. Adding other non-production costs comes to total costs. Then adding profit, we come to the final price. Looking at BBB example, our cost card will include only direct materials, highlighted in orange, then direct labor, highlighted in dark blue, and uh, fix overheads uh, highlighted in uh, light blue. On top of that, we will charge 50% uh, uh, profit, uh, which is highlighted in green. In your answer sheet, uh, clearly identify the question you are attempting and also question part. So in this case, it's uh, question part A. And we are going to produce a cost card for two products, GC and EX. And it's going to consist of direct materials direct labor overheads and uh, we will need some profit which is charged on total cost so let's have a line with total costs and uh, we could go straight into price because price is going to be 150% of total costs. Now it should be easy to populate the figures from your requirements into your answer sheet. So let's copy the material costs, let's uh, calculate the labor costs and let's calculate also the overhead costs. So material costs $3,500 for GC and $8,000 for EX. Labor costs, what we need is 300 hours for GC, each costs $15, compared to that EX is 500 hours at $15. So this comes to $4,500 and this one comes to $7,500. Overheads. We will need to calculate overhead absorption rate, so let's indicate that to the marker. And this is going to be working number one. And in working number one, we calculate overhead absorption rate, which is total costs divided by total hours. And total overhead costs are 400,000 divided by 40,000 hours that comes to $10 per hour. Even if you have a simple calculation like that, please indicate that to the marker because even if you make a small error, they can uh, uh, give you some points for uh, a good uh, approach. Overheads are absorbed over labor hours, so 300 hours for GC now this is at the rate of uh, $10, which we calculated in working one, and 500 hours at $10 here, so we have $3,000 and $5,000. Your total costs will come to 11,000 for GC and 20,500 for EX. If you multiply by 1.5, what you get is 16,500 and 30,750 respectively. Once you have completed your calculation, check the requirement again uh, in order to uh, see whether you did not miss uh, some parts. So what we were supposed to do is calculate cost and price for GC and EX. Yes, that's what we have done using hours to absorb overheads. That's correct. Now we can move to part B, where we need to calculate, again, cost and price for GC and AX, but using activity-based costing. 
the difference between uh, absorption costing and activity based costing is going to be only in overhead part. Direct costs are going to be the same, so we can copy those straight into our answer sheet. And therefore we will have GC and EX and we will have direct material and direct labor which will be the same so 3500 and uh, 8000 and here we will have 4500 and 7500 the difference is in treatment of uh, fix overheads uh, we will not use overhead absorption rate instead of that we will need to calculate cost per driver In activity-based costing, you need to identify activities uh, which are needed uh, in order to produce uh, products. Uh, the next thing is uh, to identify drivers which uh, show uh, how uh, different products uh, consumed uh, different activities. And now, uh, to identify what are the total costs of uh, activities, uh, uh, one needs to analyze uh, costs uh, in uh, primary documents, uh, like in controlling or in, uh, in uh, financial accounting. And uh, uh, often uh, there is uh, many uh, cost pools to uh, one activity relationship. Uh, however, in uh, simple examples, uh, this may be one-to-one -one, uh, relationship. In BBB example, the cost pools are uh, analyzed here as uh, overhead categories and clearly there is uh, there are activities for supervisors uh, there will be a supervision and for that uh, there is a activity driver which is side visits uh, same like that is a, a cost for planners uh, of 70,000. For that uh, activity will be production of uh, planning documents and uh, the activity driver is a uh, number of uh, planning documents. And the last uh, cost pool is property related costs, which is really difficult to say what is the activity there. And uh, quite arbitrary driver is uh, labor hours. In our cost card, we need to include all our activities. So let's start with supervision. Then we have planning. And the last one is uh, something like property related. For each, we will need to indicate to the marker where the calculation of the cost per driver is so this will be working number two, then working number three, and working number four. So let's show it somewhere down here. Working number two. In working number two, we show what is the cost per visit. So it is the cost uh, of supervision of 90,000 divided by number of uh, all visits 500 that comes to 180 dollars per visit you could calculate in the same way cost per planning document and uh, what is the cost per hour of uh, property related costs we will use this cost uh, per driver uh, in order to uh, calculate uh, the total costs uh, of a product but we need to identify what is the consumption rate. So for GC, one planning document and one side visit is needed. And for EX, six side visits and five planning documents are needed. So let's include that in our cost uh, card calculation. So here, one side visit is needed, uh, which costs 180. And one planning document is needed, which costs 280. And what we need is 300 hours. But now these hours are only property related, so they cost $6 per hour. That comes to a total of $10,260. This is my total costs. 
You could calculate similarly cost per EX, but be careful. Use appropriate levels of uh, drivers there. And you know that uh, five uh, planning documents are needed and six uh, side visits are needed. So that comes to 1080 and 1400 and 500 hours will cost you 3000 so your total costs for EX will come to 20980 so let's see if uh, we calculated what was required and uh, let's read the requirement calculate the total cost and the quoted price oh yeah so we need to do quoted price here which is going to be 150 percent of your total costs so this will come to 15,390 and this one will come to 31,470